Hi, I am Dr. Jack Rosenzweig, and I want to welcome you to the third virtual graduation of Atlantic International University. This is a monumental occasion that should not be taken for granted, as all of you have worked hard to achieve this. As we are turning a corner in the fight against the pandemic, this means that the world will get back to a sense of normal. AIU wants all of its graduates to go out into the world to help society achieve the goals of shared humanity, to take the knowledge that you obtain and help your fellow men and women. We at AIU wish you health and happiness so this will translate into a better life. I want you to virtually look around you because you would be able to notice our United Nations of graduates. AIU has always been ahead of the times and while many universities have struggled to go online, AIU has already the infrastructure in order to make it possible for all of you to be here or to continue studying. Always remember this in the future when you tell people about this monumentous accomplishment. Also, please do not stop learning. Do not stop making sure that with this degree that you have earned, you make not only your life better, but the rest of the people's lives better. You must always strive to achieve not only what you think you can, but to strive to do better than you think you can. Albert Einstein once said, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I congratulate you sincerely and welcome you to this celebration.
please rise for the national anthem of the United States of America and God Bless America, sung by Ariel Rose. Thank you. Today we are delighted to be together virtually with students from all over the world. We truly are a United Nations at AIU. Today there are over 70 countries that are being represented by our students. Here are all the countries that are being represented today at the graduation. Afghanistan, Algeria, Angola, Anguilla, Argentina, Australia, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bolivia, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Equatorial Guinea, Eritrea, Fiji, Germany, Greece, Guatemala, Guinea, Guyana, Haiti, Honduras, India, Ireland, Italy, Ivory Coast, Jamaica, Kenya, Liberia, Mali, Mexico, Mozambique, Nigeria, Norway, Panama, Palestine, Papua New Guinea, Peru, Paraguay, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Russian Federation, Rwanda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Sierra Leone, Singapore, South Africa, South Sudan, Spain, Sri Lanka, 
Sudan, Swaziland, Switzerland, Trinidad and Tobago, Uganda, United States, Uruguay, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Now let me introduce the honored guests and members of Atlantic International University presiding over today's ceremony. Dr. Jose Mercado, Chairman of the Board. Dr. Franklin Valsin, Academic Dean and President. Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez, Provost. Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez, Vice President of Finances. Dr. Miriam Garibaldi, Vice Provost. AIU Director, Ophelia Miller. I also want to welcome to our graduation our management team. Edward Lambert, Academic Director. Clara Folke, Special Projects Director. Juan Pablo Moreno, Special Operations Director. Jaime Rotlevich, Dean of Admissions. Felipe Gomez, Web Design Manager. Deborah Rodriguez, Tutors Coordinator. Carlos Saponte, Telecommunications Director. Roberto Aldret, Communications Coordinator. Maricela Esparza, Student Services Coordinator. Michael Phillips, Registrar's Office. Because AIU is an online university, you sometimes don't get to see the faces behind the scenes. So, it is my pleasure to present to you the rest of the team that works so hard for you, our students. Now it's a pleasure to call upon today's first speaker, Dr. Franklin Valsin, President and Academic Dean, Doctor of Education in Instructional Technology and Distance Learning. Dr. Valsin has more than 40 years of teaching experience and has pioneered the concepts of self-learning, curriculum design, and andragogy, which are the foundations of AIU's learning model. He has developed and taught a wide array of educational courses and programs from Florida International University, St. Thomas University, Florida Memorial College, and Miami-Dade College, just to name a few. He was honored among the best teachers in the U.S. by Who's Who Among America's Teachers. Honored as a director of the Educational Opportunity Center of Miami-Dade College as the best support program in higher learning. He has also published numerous books. He has also published articles in both English and French, most recently, last year published a new book titled Curriculum and Course Design. Some of you know him through your student portal, but everyone at AIU knows that he is one of the people that makes it that people accomplish their goals at AIU. Please welcome Dr. Franklin Valsin. <laughs> this looks like a very unorthodox 
or a non-traditional way to start a graduation speech. But there is no other better way, ladies and gentlemen, to unleash our inner feelings of joy, happiness, and ecstasy. So yes, I'm granting you this full license to laugh all you can because you truly deserve it. <laughs> but both you and I have got to stop. And now my next word is a heartfelt greeting from and to every member of the family of Atlantic International University. If we were in a live physical environment, I would have asked you to be a little more out of hand and make some ear-piercing noise. Unfortunately, with the pandemic still around, we won't be able to get there. Nevertheless, what still remains possible is our best shot at the true meaning of what you, the graduating class of 2021, just achieved. Once again, congratulations to all of you. It hasn't been easy, has it? I know what I'm talking about because I've been there multiple times. And the truth of the matter is, your degree is no more than a guide to the right path. Most importantly, trust that you are now on the highway to success. Never ever deviate from there. However, please beware of what lies ahead because the rest is not a straight road. As a matter of fact, it is full of dangerous curves, turns and obstacles of all kinds. The fake friends who did not want you to reach that major milestone, the unsuitably far away collaborators who sadly shun you because you unwillingly left them behind. Your own reserve of patience and courage that started getting thinner and thinner. Let me stop here. Yet, remember, you experimented and will continue to stumble upon all of that. The temptations to give up were and will be huge and diverse. Please don't fall for them. And this is my last advice to you, dear graduates of the class of 2021. Ignore those negative shows of contempt that will strike continuously if given an opportunity. Run away, ladies and gentlemen. Run as fast as you can because the only weapon or tool you needed to get through all the ambiguities of this life is definitely yours at this time. To repeat that old saying again, now that you have what you needed, only the sky should be your limit, cherished students. Go for it with full speed, along with the absolute certitude that you will reach the top. Trust that God placed multiple potentials in you and tap on them. Believe that God created you for success and chase it. Accept that God built plans for you and reach out for them. Embrace your destiny now more than ever and march confidently, dear graduating members of the class of 2021, march confidently toward the best phase of your lifetime. With God on your side, unto Him be the glory forever, ever, and may His joy fill your heart today and for years to come. Best wishes once more to each and every one of you. Thank you. Graduates, it is my pleasure to introduce AIU Academic Director, Dr. Edward Lambert. Hello to you, our new graduates of AIU. My name is Dr. Edward Lambert. I am the Academic Dean of AIU. I have a message for you. First, congratulations. This is a wonderful day for all of you. Graduation day is a day that we all cherish at AIU with great joy. We walk with our students every day through their programs at AIU. Our students study their courses and submit their assignments. Many students are doing their thesis research and students are thinking deeply about the world and how to improve it. 
we are here working with them daily as they prepare themselves to be more productive in their work and to be a source of wisdom and strength in their communities. Now, today, some of our students are graduating. This new group of graduates is moving on to live better lives. Now, apart from studying the courses for their majors, our graduates can also study human rights and how to improve society. They have gained insights into how to develop a sustainable world. Our graduates bring knowledge of great value to their communities. So how can we recognize a sustainable world? What does it look like? Well, here I have a candle. And the candle is made of wax and a wick, which produce a flame. The wick is a little cord with its roots into the wax. So now as the flame burns on the wick, it melts the wax near the wick. The wick then pulls the melted wax up into the flame. And then the flame melts a little more wax and the wax is, goes up the wick to feed the flame. So it's this little symbiotic relationship that they have. It's a simple and beautiful thing. Now, when a candle maker makes a candle, they have to determine the right size of wick so that the candle will burn cleanly and efficiently. Now, the size of the wick then determines how the candle will burn. So, if the wick is too small, the flame will melt wax around the wick, but the wick isn't big enough to pull that wax up and feed the flame. So eventually the melted wax around the wick builds up, buries the wick, and puts out the flame. Now, but if the wick is too large, then the wick is pulling up too much wax from the candle and is burning inefficiently. So the flame begins to move wildly and produces soot and smoke, which can stay in the ceiling of a house. So it would be like an inefficient automobile that gives off clouds of smoke. The soot from an inefficient flame represents pollution from inefficiency. So in this little example of a candle, we can recognize a sustainable world. If we consume the world's resources too much too fast, like a larger wick would do in a candle, we produce pollution and other problems in society. However, if we do not consume enough, we will not thrive and we will not live to our full potential. So we have to find a balance to conserve wisely. Once we find the right balance to live wisely and sustainably, we will consume at an optimal level for our lives and the world. We must use the resources of the world in a sustainable way to maintain ourselves and our families and leave a clean world for future generations. Each person must be like the candle maker who selects the right size wick for the candle. We must select a level of consumption that is clean and sustainable. Once we use the resources of the world sustainably, the light of the candle will burn cleanly, brightly, and peacefully. It's a beautiful thing. So, my message to you, our new AIU graduates, is to be the best flame for your own life's candle. Use the resources available to you in a sustainable way. Let those resources then feed the flame of your life's work and you will shine with a glorious clean light. The wise light of your flame will honor your families and future generations. Each one of you is a light shining. May you shine brightly in peace, inspiring your family, friends, neighbors, and future generations. You inspired us while you studied at AIU. So congratulations on your wonderful achievement to be graduating from Atlantic International University. And may you live in peace, giving all your best effort in your work. May your life be full of sustainable blessings. Our hearts are with you.
And now, here is a special message for you, our graduates, from former governor of the state of Alaska and a former candidate for vice president of the United States, Sarah Palin. Hi, AIU grads. Hey, Atlantic International University grads. This is Sarah Palin up in Alaska. I want to take just a second just to shout y'all out and say happy, happy new year to you. Uh, May 2021 be ushered in for all of you with nothing but the very best. Security and prosperity and health and happiness and continued success. You know, yeah. here you are, this new chapter of life for all y'all. The world is your oyster. Despite the pandemic and other challenges, sometimes less than ideal conditions, you all proving to be so unique and um, just absolutely special in terms of destiny that each one of you can recognize and do recognize and seek to be on the right path towards that destiny, towards what you are created to do in life. Uh, it is a unique time for all of you and you having chosen to become a part of the university by taking the values and the ideas based on human rights and equality to make the world a better place. Well, I just hope in this new chapter of life for you that what will be made manifest is the world being a better place around you in your circle of influence, um, all those that you would touch and um, your loved ones who you then can turn around and make their lives better based on all that you've learned at AIU. So congratulations on uh, being graduated from AIU and continued success to all of you. Yeah, human rights, equality, to make the world a better place. May all of that really manifest in each and every one of you. God bless. Please welcome Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez for a special presentation. Hello, fellow alumni, students, family, and friends. This class of 2021 has overcome historic obstacles uh, coming from the previous year's pandemic. And it is truly a marvel to witness the overcoming of these obstacles in real time. Um, you have not let any of those obstacles derail your objectives and evidence of that is your presence here today uh, graduates uh, achieving your dreams and adapting to change and innovating ways to continue to do the things that you are passionate about in this new world and you have done so we trust in a responsible way um, however persevering and moving forward now, as graduates of Atlantic International University, I believe we should take some time now to reconnect with ourselves. We are constantly bombarded by news at all times, especially uh, negative news. So we must be very wise as to the information that we allow to constantly enter our periphery with social media, phones, computers becoming almost an extension of the human form, uh, it is unprecedented the level of distraction, stresses, uh, stimulus that surrounds us every moment of every day. And so that is why it's so important to reconnect, take a moment now to reconnect with yourself, to shut down all the distractions, put your phone aside, switch off your computers, appreciate everything that is around you and all of those that are around you as well as those who cannot be around you due to the circumstances that we are living in. I would like to ask you to purposefully together with me go on a small journey. 
And this small journey will be uh, a way to kind of tune back into the correct frequency. And what I mean by the correct frequency is that state of wholeness, confidence, and connection with our universe that occurs when we are able to synchronize the different portions of our brains to produce theta waves. And theta waves can only be produced by blocking out all distractions. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is through meditation. However, many do not meditate and uh, there are many alternatives to that. One in-between step to remove some of these distractions and focus on uh, the positive things in life is to simply go outside for a walk. And so I'd like you guys to join me today and uh, let's take a quick walk outside and continue our chat. We're back. With everything converging on the home, work, family, everything in your life has combined into the home. There's very few boundaries and your schedule can be badly affected by that if you don't have the discipline and the control to keep those things separate. And it is vitally important to be always present and in the moment and having the skill sets to focus and to keep those distractions at bay are key to happiness. Graduates, I invite you to take back your schedule, to take back your commute time and use it to your advantage. We're outside. Enjoy your time outside. Make time to be outdoors, to give yourself a moment. Let's take a deep breath. Wow, that feels great. We are in the moment. We are in control of our environment. Nothing can affect us. Regardless of what we may hear, that all the troubles of the world, you, you need only go outside for a few moments to realize that, hey, everything is fine. Nothing's coming to an end. And I am the master of my own destiny. With that in mind, Fellow alumni, I wish to sincerely thank you for having taken the AIU pledge, as all of our graduates have done as the, in the conference just before this ceremony. We all understand the higher purpose beyond ourselves and the responsibility that we have and our vital role in finding solutions to the world's problems. So, well defined, by the UNESCO 2030 goals. And so we can use that as a blueprint. It covers 17 different areas where we can contribute to the betterment of mankind. And that's really what the AIU pledge is all about. And I thank each and every one of you for agreeing to have taken the pledge together with AIU, with your fellow alumni. Your journey at AIU has been equal parts discovery, self-discovery and academic. At AIU, we take into account the whole student, holistically. Indeed, you are unique and unrepeatable. And your program at Atlantic International University was unique to you, tailored to your exact specifications to address the specific goals of your life, of your circumstance. YouTube, social media, Instagram, all of these platforms have facilitated the exchange of knowledge and made superstars out of those with the courage to share what they know. The world today is encouraging you, demanding, beckoning you to share your gifts, to share your knowledge. The barriers of accessing anyone have decreased tremendously. It's truly the democratization of content creation. Anyone today with knowledge in a niche area, in technology, uh, in an industry, in investment, in hobbies, in education, in teaching, in mentoring, within five minutes can begin a channel, a content media channel that can be viewed by billions of people worldwide. 
if you only have the courage to step out and share what you already know, your expertise, your passions with the world. So I welcome you and I invite you to do so. And let the world know, the expert, that we know at AIU that you are. Product development has also changed completely. It no longer takes years of prototyping and tens of thousands of dollars to develop a product. The cost of developing a product or prototype has come down to less than 1% of what it used to be just 20 years ago with 3D printing, automated designs and other technologies. So bring your invention to life. Find solutions to problems that are real in the world and help make it a better place for all. As an example, just five or six years ago at Yusuf, there was no insulin pumps that were automated for people to use. However, that was changed by a group of hackers and parents who were tired of watching their child at night or being worried at night, waking up their child to check their blood sugar levels. So what did they do? They hacked an insulin pump, a sensor, and a software. And the result was an insulin pump that would cost ten to twenty thousand dollars at four at three to four hundred dollars, putting together what was already available in the market. And in fact, this is something that the FDA approved a short time after. Yet, it came about first through the ingenuity of groups of individuals who came together with their different expertise and came up with this. Graduate, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope it inspires you to take a moment out of your busy days. In fact, more than a moment. Take a few minutes each day to go outside, take a break from it all, disconnect, and really appreciate what's important and not allow things out of your control to stress you or worry you and continue to be the great success and inspiration that you are. Congratulations, class of 2021. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. During the presentation of diplomas, you will get a chance to hear from some of our students as we highlight some of the best testimonials we received and short interview segments from some of the best graduates of this incredible class. Don't be afraid to stand up, hug your families, and cheer when your name is called, you've earned it. Gabriel Cabanda, Postdoctorate of Science. Computer Science, Zimbabwe. V. V. L. N. Sastri, Postdoctorate of Economics, India. The main reason uh, for joining for postdoctorate was uh, on two fronts. Number one, during the COVID period, I came across uh, many economic problems being faced by many nations world across, including India. India being the largest populated country in the world, uh, I have seen with my own eyes the woes of uh, millions of people struggling for their uh, food, shelter, and the ways and means through which they can reach their destinations. This was all the struggle they were going through. Having seen that, I, f I felt that I should, uh, I should do something uh, research-wise to 
to to do a kind of betterment for the living of these people for that i need to come out with some kind of economic solutions to suggest to the government and tell the government that whenever you face or find a pandemic of this sort this is what the pre preparation that you need to do and keep in uh, keep in place a force which can deal with this kind of crisis and uh, make the people find a good way out Juan Carlos Valdez Sandoval Post Doctorate of Business Administration Guatemala caso este postdoctorado me va a ser de mucha ayuda tanto en el ámbito académico, científico y profesional con la finalidad de aportar mayor conocimiento a, a la sociedad. Joseph Magaji Azi, Doctorate, Public Financial Management, Nigeria. Godfrey Ogbuti, Doctorate, Criminology, Nigeria. Michelle Louise Parkin, Doctor of Science, Nutrition, South Africa. Glenn Fry, Doctor of Science, Nutrition, United States. Edil G. Trabal Lebron, Doctor of Science, Public Health, Puerto Rico. Joseph Nduda Luamba, Doctor of Science, Computer Science, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Hilaire Sambala Mbwali, Doctor of Science, Public Health, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Maria Cristina Ferrari, Doctor of Science, Public Health, Cum Laude, Argentina. Yo vengo desarrollando investigaciones hace más de 20 años, ¿no? Y en España eh, participo todos los años de la, en el congreso que se realiza, en la, o sea, que es organizado por la Sociedad Española de Calidad Asistencial, es donde yo primeramente me he formado. Todos los años yo presento trabajos, eh, por supuesto, desarrollados en, teniendo la mirada del liderazgo, siempre, por supuesto, en comunión con el paraguas de la salud pública, ¿sí? Eh, sobre liderazgo, sobre estrategias, sobre distintas experiencias en gestión de calidad y seguridad del paciente, ¿no? Que son experiencias que llevo adelante en mi país, también en otros países de Latinoamérica. Siempre prioricé las necesidades y la mirada en lo humano, ¿no? En las necesidades del ser humano, que cada vez son mayores. Ese fue mi foco de atención. El pertenecer y estar tan comprometida con la, 
Pontificia Universidad Católica Argentina, ahí me guío por los valores cristianos, ¿sí? Sobre todo los valores que yo vi en Ayú, eh, lo cual dice comunión, que tiene que ver con los derechos humanos, el desarrollo del ser humano, ¿no? porque eso es lo que tienen ustedes, una mirada muy sistémica, muy multidisciplinaria, y todo esto a mí me ha enriquecido mucho. Kimberly E. Moore, Doctor of Science, Psychology, Greece. Ángel María de León, Doctor of Science, Political Science, Dominican Republic. Para desarrollar y ampliar mi capacidad intelectual y profesional, que requiere en estos tiempos la capacitación de los recursos humanos, tomando en cuenta el avance que se ha experimentado en la ciencia en sentido general y la tecnología y a la vez de los conceptos filosóficos que se manejan en eh, Atlanta Internacional sobre lo que es la promoción de los derechos humanos. J.S. Carr, Mari Amalor Pam Shalatoray, Doctor of Science, Chemical Engineering, Cum Laude, India. which was uh, it will give me in future for some other specialist courses so actually right now I am planning for some new specialist courses so which was already covered in my doctorate degree program it will help my for my a future for to make a specialist in corrosion side Alan J Penchard doctor of physics Modern Thermodynamics of Systems of Various Scales, Canada. As of today, I can say that yeah, you represent the university of the future, but today. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> for example, where are you? Science has yet to discover the mechanism of learning. What is known is that uh, it comes from within, inside every person. So every person is different. Uh, per my understanding, this is what explained uh, the approach of AIU with the two, uh, the two methods uh, that follows. This. The first one is the student self-instruction approach. Uh, this comes with the guidance from academic uh, advisor and university staff. And the second one is the collab collaborative development of a curriculum. I'm very satisfied of uh, my experience with the AIU. Bastian Kurlalaj and Manisha Sween Rodrigo, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business Administration, Sri Lanka. Muhair Simon Charles, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Leadership and Governance, Rwanda. Nadine McIntosh Ramsaran, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Clinical Psychology, Guyana. Kerry Hermo Petusula, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Geotechnical Engineering, Philippines. All the coursework that we have done, it would be a prelude to what would be our company will be doing in uh, future no? in which we try to develop a department which will cater our research work in the field of geotechnical engineering. 
now we have so many projects here in the Philippines and our projects is uh, under the Department of Public Works and Highways. So it has to be with uh, bridges, then we have slope protection and some of the private clients that uh, we have here in our, our company is uh, more of the high rise building no, under the geotechnical uh, investigation. Now, <clears throat> in the past, in the past, uh, we have not uh, really focused into uh, research work type. No? So what we will do now with the program that I was able to finish with Atlantic International University you know, and even our exposure, how to prepare for paper to be publicized. And uh, it will help us, especially the uh, research department of our company. So we cater uh, structural design and also a geotechnical investigation for high rise building or any type of structure that require our services. Sylvia Osagbovo Tagbo Okeke, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project Management, Nigeria. Trocon Rockefeller Jackson, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Educational Leadership Management, Liberia. Odio Susana, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Education, Nigeria. Shane Anthony Mohammed, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Leadership and Governance, Cum Laude, Trinidad and Tobago. I've worked in the judiciary, I've worked in the Ministry of Justice, I've worked in the Ministry of Health. I have also served uh, temporarily in our parliament as a senator. I have lectured at the University of the West Indies. I now lecture um, at Sam Caribbean uh, Limited. I was formerly a columnist for one of our weekly tabloids here in Trinidad and Tobago called the Sunshine uh, newspaper. So it's it's a very wide background. <laughs> you, are, you are right in saying that I've learned a lot about politics from a practical perspective, but I've done a lot of research about politics um, from a theoretical perspective. And, I, and you are also right to say that I understand international relations. One of the things that I am pleased by is that this PhD that your institution and this institution, which is now my institution, has legitimized my ability and given me the authority that I've needed and that has been often overlooked by those traditionalists and institutionalists here in Trinidad and Tobago. What AIU and those who share in your educational philosophy has done is that it has broken down the walls that uh, bind us to bureaucracy and institutionalism it has given us in the developing world an opportunity to pursue our dreams and to pursue our dreams in a way where we don't feel discriminated against. Uh, we don't have to worry that somebody is looking over our shoulders and may just simply choose to not uh, encourage us or confer upon us what we've worked so hard for because they don't they feel threatened by our abilities. And those are all of the reasons why I choose to walk away from Trinidad and Tobago and move to and take my PhD to an international school like the like Atlantic International. Um, the experience was fantastic. Ebowari Away, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project Planning and Management, Nigeria. It was a long road, but it was worth it. 
I've learned some life skills, especially what it takes to develop a curriculum and to be self-driven, to follow it through. Today I can comfortably say, yes, AIU have impacted my life and I'm so glad to be associated with AIU. Ayodele Olabesi Harper, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Trauma, Grief and Disaster Relief, Barbados. John Mwewa Mapalunga, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Marketing, Zambia. Kiwa Wane Papi, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project and Financial Management, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Kasongo Nguba Joseph, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project and Financial Management, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Kambi Ntokwa, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business Administration, Zambia. Carlos Alberto Carcach Alfaro, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Criminology, El Salvador. Christine Lubasi Mwanambuyu, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Linguistics, Zambia. Alubenga O. Agbolade David, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, English Language and Linguistics, Ireland. Rahima Kamara, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Economics, Mali. Konkobo Mathurin Pawanisongo, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Public Health, Burkina Faso. Christopher Kapasa, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Environmental Science, Zambia. Berta Olivia Polanco Luján, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Humanistic Psychotherapy, Mexico. Mabel Charlton Brown, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Applied Linguistics, Cum Laude, Jamaica. <music> Eric Filer Nagbe, Doctorate, Accounting, Cum Laude, Liberia.
Benared Mohammed, Doctor of Management, Human Resources Management, Algeria. Eugenio Leopoldo Sierra Guerrero, Doctor of International Relations, Foreign Policy and Diplomacy, Dominican Republic. <laughs> Esther Pali Batia, Doctor of Healthcare Administration, Papua New Guinea. Cristian Perdomo Hernández, Doctor of Electoral Studies, Cum Laude, Dominican Republic. Edwin Manuel Pujols Soto, Doctor of Education, Mathematics, Dominican Republic. Enrique Garrido Arosemena, Doctor of Education, Bolivia. Debo mencionar que la universidad me ha dado la oportunidad de armar mi propio plan de estudio y sistema de aprendizajes en el campo de la educación, siempre acompañado de nuestros tutores y con la facilidad de contar con una variedad de recursos y materiales educativos para nuestra investigación y así alcanzar nuestra meta. Me llevo una gran satisfacción y con mucho deseo de ayudar a los demás y aportar un granito de arena para que nuestra sociedad sea mejor. Muchas gracias. Janet Angela Dyer, Doctor of Education, Leadership and Strategic Planning, Jamaica. al Hajie Salyu Kanu, Doctor of Education, Applied Linguistics and Literature, Sierra Leone. AIU is the best in terms of pursuing excellence. I've learned so much, and what I've learned will be able to support me in doing my professional work in the development process of my country. Luis Mariano Crespo Ortiz, Doctor of Education, Puerto Rico. Jorge José Luis Gras Compte, Doctor of Education, Argentina. Chestin Tatiana Carstens Vázquez, Doctor of Education, Chile. Oscar Alejandro Lopera Calle, Doctor of Education, Cum Laude, Colombia. Miguel Ángel Arredondo Geldes, Doctor of Education, 
Investigation in Education, Chile. Manuel de Jesús Puerto Castellano, Doctor of Economics, Honduras. Chukwu Emeka, Doctor of Business Management, Nigeria. Alfonso Bolivar Salvatierra, Doctor of Business and Economics, Marketing, Cum Laude, United States. Jacqueline Koning, Doctor of Business and Economics, International Human Rights, South Africa. Mark Jose Gonzalez, Doctor of Business Administration, Jamaica. Zaibonisha Jones, Doctor of Business Administration, Business Management, South Africa. Yes, I've been very successful as general manager, commercial for Transnet Trade Trail. I was also general manager commercial for the National Ports Authority. I was group sales director with South African Broadcast Corporation and now as an entrepreneur, very successful too. My studies with AIU has been fulfilling, enriching, enhancing, and I must say it's added so much value to me as a person. And most importantly, I believe once back in the corporate environment, which is my my desire to go back into the corporate environment because of COVID-19, the hospitality industry is not doing well at all. I know that my studies are going to put me in greater stead to achieve a lot more success. So uh, having studied with AIU has been a plus for me and I must say a great advantage. Aswuku Basi Ita, Doctor of Business Administration, Nigeria. Oswald Marara, Doctor of Business Administration, Business Management, Zimbabwe. Arnaldo Fernando Nabene, Doctor of Business, Business Administration, Mozambique. Atiyah Musa Ajab, Doctor of Biology, Cellular Biology, United States. James Komolafe, Doctor of Behavioral Health, Cum Laude, Nigeria. Ben Leonard's Okeo, Doctor of Arts, Missiology, Kenya. <music> P. 
Peter Eshesirim Anotsie, Doctor of Arts, Sociology, Russian Federation. Roberto Molinar Rios, Doctor of Accounting and Controller, Cum Laude, Panama. Ha permitido pues mejorar lo que es la educación andragógica a través de crear conocimiento por cuenta propia, como lo deberíamos hacer todos los estudiantes a nivel universitario. Esto me ha ayudado eh, más que todo a sentirme único e irrepetible dentro de esta universidad por el trato que hemos recibido de parte de los tutores y asesores durante la estadía en esta universidad. Adiola Esien, Doctor, Entrepreneurship, Research and Business Management, Nigeria. Isaac Devakumar, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Mathematics, India. Antonio de Jesus Garibaldi Corona, Doctorate, Quality Management, Mexico. Ham Jamal Khalil, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Education Administration, Palestine. Angela del Carmen Espinal Veras, Doctorate, Human Resources, Dominican Republic. James Ajuang Aru, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business Administration, South Sudan. Alvin, Alvin L. Dunn, Doctor of Business Administration, Business Management, United States. Arthur T. Johnson, Doctorate, Legal Studies, Cum Laude, Liberia. <laughs> Rafala Mahlodi Asnaf, Master of Education, Educational Technology, South Africa. Julio Cesar Quesada Gutierrez, Master of Science, Nutrition, Dominican Republic. Melquiades Sindolfo Vilches Chamorro, Master of Science, Civil Engineering, Peru. Livingstone Oaken, Master of Business Administration, Financial Management, Sudan. (laughs) 
María Eugenia del Rosario Tabarani Soto, Master of Social Work, Marriage and Family Therapy, Guatemala. Anulúwa Abidemi Ajose, Master of Science, Environmental Engineering, Nigeria. George Okoth Onyango, Master of Science, Electrical Engineering, Kenya. Aleni Rivas Santos, Master of Science, Industrial Engineering, Dominican Republic. Alphonse Muntuabo Mubengay, Master of Science, Electrical Engineering and Energy Management, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Bernardo Celestino Raquito, Master of Management, Rural Development, Mozambique. John Tuol Mon, Master of International Relations, Australia. Claudia Brown Nasser, Master of Human Resources Management, Liberia. Alphonse Key Domki Ali, Master of Economics and Strategic Management, Papua New Guinea. Elizabeth Makunese, Master of Clinical Psychology, Mental Health Counseling, Zimbabwe. This program is going to help me a lot, especially I want to establish my clinic so that I help others in my community. You have to balance the two, like more things, like going to school, going to work, looking after the kids, looking after the grandkids, you know, all that in one. So it's not easy, but I'm so happy yeah, you made it possible. Simao Chikaya, Master of Business Administration, Angola. Anna Gums, Master of Science, Counseling, Anguilla. Jose Benjamin Amaya Angarita, Bachelor's, Business Administration, Colombia. Philippe Jean, Bachelor of Business Administration, Haiti.
Eufrasia Cristina Jiménez Almonte, Bachelors, Elementary Education, Dominican Republic. Eva Celestina Fernandez Rodriguez, Bachelors, Civil Engineering, Honduras. Juanita Garcia Villegas, Bachelors, Psychology, Italy. Armelin Becky Ma, Bachelors, Human Resources Management, Liberia. Roldan Wilfredo Gonzalez Penaranda, Bachelor of Science, Industrial Security, United States. Alejandro Valeriano Ruiz, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Bolivia. Mayra Elizabeth Santiso Galdamez, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Guatemala. Jose, Jose Antonio Huerta Nivelo, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Ecuador. Indil Andil Inleco, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Swaziland. Nitin Raj Navitesh, Doctor of Science, Political Science, Fiji. Mary Aluya Rachain, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Ivory Coast. Amadita Pinzon Almendra, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Spain. Giuseppe Claudio Melli, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, Italy. Esther Carolina Robles Beliz, Nutrition, Diet and Aesthetics, Ecuador. Osmin Kevin Sarceno, Civil Engineering, Belize. Y 
Dahun Zaga Karbaga, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Switzerland. Isaac Gebra Christos, Bachelor of Science, Norway. Carlos Alberto Kivupskoa Urdanivia, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, Peru. Michael Okubai Berhane, Bachelor of Science, Mining and Engineering, Eritrea. <music> Luis Fernandez Gonzalez Herrera, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering, Honduras. Fidelis Ngocha, Bachelor of Science, Occupational Health and Safety, United States. <music> Abdul Wahid Newton Yusuf, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Nigeria. Jose Ramon Villarrubia Orellana, Bachelor of Science, Nutrition, Spain. Maria Estela Almada, Bachelor of Public Health, Health Research, Cum Laude, Uruguay. educativa caracterizada, por ejemplo, al ofrecer accesibilidad a los adultos, a la educación universitaria de los adultos, aquellos que aún tenemos anhelo de perfeccionarnos en un área específica. Hussein Omar Hussein, Bachelor of Project Management, Uganda. Fiorella Paulette Coca Palacios, Bachelor of Nutrition Science, Dietetics, Honduras. Ella yo me proveyó con una educación andragógica, la cual me ha servido de mucho, ya que yo puedo crear mis propios cursos de acuerdo a mi conveniencia y a mis metas. Esto me ha hecho sentir única e irrepetible. Y lo que hay para mí en el futuro es poder crear una página web en la cual yo pueda ofrecer mis servicios como profesional de la nutrición. Javier Nguema Onwenne, Bachelor of International Relations. Equatorial Guinea. Maria Jose Diaz Huitron, Bachelor of International Business, Ecuador.
Fatima McCall Cristel Milla Dulanto, Bachelor of Humanities, Psychology, Peru. Rebecca Yemi Obaro, Bachelor of Human Resources, Nigeria. Maresia Williams Knights, Bachelor of Finance, Finance and Business Management, St. Kitts and Nevis. Gabriel Felipe Abrego de Paz, Bachelor of Education, El Salvador. Ngozi Judith Azi, Bachelor of Education, Biology, Nigeria. Obakeng Sakaba, Bachelor of Business Management, Botswana. <music> Elizabeth Maria Barr Clyde, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration Management, Bahamas. Claudia Alejandra Calderón Tapia, Bachelor of Business Administration, Digital Marketing, Bolivia. <music> Mohamed Ba, Bachelor of Business Administration, Liberia. Gisela Garate Tabja, Bachelor of Business Administration, Peru. Leonardo C. L. Diaz, Bachelor of Business, International Business Management, United States. Loretha Yujoma Madureme, Bachelor of Business, Business Management, Switzerland. Bashir Saleh Haladu, Bachelor of Arts, Accounting, Nigeria. Brashna Soku, Bachelor of Arts, Communications, Afghanistan. Juan Carlos Quevedo Burnham, Bachelor of Arts, Architecture, Ecuador. <music> 
Franci Nicole Jaime Pitti, Bachelor of Arts, Architecture, Panama. Fairul Abdullah de Zouza Philip Ignatius, Bachelor of Arts, Education, Singapore. Leonel Melendez, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting and Finance, Puerto Rico. Harold Edward Arce Espinosa, Bachelor of Business Administration, Peru. Roque Juan Nunez, Bachelor of Education, Educational Psychology, Canada. Francisco Brites Leguizamón, Bachelor of Science, Systems Engineering, Paraguay. Haruna Traore, Certificate of Risk Management, Guinea. Kofi Ansu Kumi, Certificate of Social and Human Studies, Germany. Lungani Felamon Kwetsube, Certificate of Social and Human Studies, Legal Studies, South Africa. Admor Mufanachilla, Certificate of Science, Human Development, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mamfane Emmanuel Maepa, Doctor of Science, Renewable Energy, South Africa. Noel Sanzinetza, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Procurement and Project Management, Rwanda. None of our students would be here today if it wasn't for the support they received from their families. So at this moment, we want to thank the families of the graduates with this special video. Dreams that only came
came to pass them by. Here's to the broken man who stood in ward when he heard you can't. It shows me that faith is more than sight. Now, graduates, your families would like to dedicate these words of congratulations to you. Este es un momento especial para felicitar a mi esposo, Juan Carlos Quevedo Burján, por culminar su carrera universitaria en esta prestigiosa universidad, AIU. Excelente, papá. Te amo. Disfruta de este logro. Tienes mi admiración. Felicidades, tío. Espero que sigas cumpliendo tus metas. ¡Felicidades! Papito, muchas felicidades por este nuevo logro. Gracias por su ejemplo de esfuerzo, dedicación, responsabilidad, paciencia. Estoy muy feliz y orgullosa de ser su hija. Le deseo éxito, bendiciones y lo quiero muchísimo. Estoy muy contento, estoy muy feliz y darle primeramente gracias a Dios por haberme regalado una esposa tan inteligente y que siempre que se propone algo, lo logra. 
¿Quién te dijo que no se puede? Felicidades, mi amor. Felicitaciones, María José, de parte de toda tu familia. Nos sentimos muy orgullosos de que hayas alcanzado tus metas planificadas. A mi hijo, Oscar Alejandro, lo felicito por su doctorado. Dios me, Dios me lo bendiga. Eres el mejor esposo y padre y el mejor ejemplo para nuestros hijos. Te felicito por tu día de la graduación y eres un buen ejemplo para mí. Sabes que te amamos muchísimo y que te hemos seguido y apoyado para que puedas lograr todas tus metas. Pero más allá de eso, eh, felicitarte por, porque eres una gran persona, un, un, un buen padre, <ríe> eh, eh, abuelo ahora con los niños y, y eso es lo principal y lo primordial. Y que tengas mucho, ahora vamos por el postdoctorado. Te lo mereces mucho porque eres muy estudiosa, muy inteligente y eres la mejor señora prola del mundo. Felicidades, Ángela. Te adoramos, mami. Muchas felicitaciones por el logro obtenido. Nuestra hija y yo nos sentimos muy orgullosas de ti. Éxitos. Les deseo muchas felicidades y, y que el Señor lo continúe bendiciendo. Hoy celebramos un nuevo logro en familia. La graduación de mi papá de doctor. We are proud of you. Felicidades. Gracias. Que nunca nadie corte tus alas porque solamente tú decides cuán alto quieres volar en la vida. Porque eres una vencedora. Felicidades mami por un logro más y por haberte graduado de la Universidad IU. Sé que con sus conocimientos apoyará el desarrollo de la investigación en Guatemala. Y felicitación a la Universidad de IU por contribuir a la formación de nuevos profesionales. En esta ocasión te quiero decir que me siento muy orgullosa de usted. Muy, muy orgulloso de usted. Nosotros tus padres y hermanas estamos sumamente orgullosos porque has podido alcanzar otra meta más para tu vida. En este día tan especial y tan importante, eh, no solo en tu vida sino en la nuestra también, pues queremos felicitarte y decirte que estamos muy orgullosos por tu logro. Bien hecho, sí, adelante. Queremos copiar tus pasos y pues ser igual que ti. Te envío un saludo y una felicitación por haberte graduado en la Licenciatura de Salud Pública. A nuestra bella mamá Eugenia Tabarini queremos felicitarla por este logro obtenido. Estamos muy orgullosos de ti. Gracias por seguir siendo ejemplo de vida para nosotros. Te queremos. Y te mando un gran abrazo y te quiero mucho. Queremos felicitar a nuestro padre por haber culminado su doctorado en Contabilidad y Contraloría. ¡Felicidades! Felicitaciones hermano, lo lograste. ¡Amén! Y le deseo los mejores éxitos en el futuro. Quiero felicitarla por su carrera finalizada en la Universidad IU en arquitectura. Mil felicidades, te deseamos de todo corazón. Tu esposa que te ama y tu hija que también te ama mucho. Felicitaciones por tu título. Has logrado tus anhelos, hija. Te deseo muchos éxitos y este es el principio de tu profesión. Recibe nuestro cariño. Nos unimos a tu alegría. Bendiciones. Muchas felicidades para mi hija Lenny por haber logrado la nueva meta. Que el Señor te bendiga. Muchas bendiciones. Felicidades. A esa mujer luchadora, exitosa, emprendedora, trabajadora. Dios que Dios te bendiga. te bendiga. Gracias, mami, por mantenerme y cuidarme. Te quiero mucho. Mi mamá está muy contenta de haberse graduado, doctorado en salud pública. Estas palabras de agradecimiento son para expresar mi gran orgullo, el orgullo que siento por ser parte de la vida de Edu, porque es una persona emprendedora, capaz, honesta, decidida e inspiradora. Aprovecho la ocasión para todos desearte ¡Felicidades! Me encanta que hayas luchado tanto por tener tu título. En verdad, estoy muy, muy orgulloso de ti y sigue siempre hacia adelante. Toño, muchas felicidades por un logro más en esta vida tuya. Toño, muchas felicidades, hijo, que todo te vaya mejor. Un logro más en, en tu carrera. ¡Qué bueno! ¡Felicidades! Congratulations to you, Dad, for successfully completing your doctorate degree. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations on your graduation, Daddy. Felicitations. Felicitations. Merci, merci. Congratulations, Mom, 
for completing this milestone. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Congratulations, congratulations. I know it was not um, an easy task. You made it. So congratulations once more. Okay. Who's us, mommy? Congratulations. Congratulations, we love you. mommy. We love you. You did so well. Congratulations, Isaac Dev Kumar, for your PhD graduation. May God bless you. We are proud of your great academic achievement. Hello, dear. Congratulations on your convocation at AIU. We pray that you continue to succeed in everything you do. Congratulations, brother. You did it. I just want to say congratulations to my sweet husband for achieving his doctorate degree. I say thank you to the management of AIU. Really, we are very proud of your success in your life. May God bless you with more success and achievements in your life. God bless you. We love you, man. I love you. You AIU team, thank you, my family. It's all your support. I'm, I'm grateful to God. Congratulations, Tati, on your graduation from AIU. Uh, as you graduate today, my dear husband, I want to say congratulations. Dad, I want to say congratulations and enjoy your day. Bye. Congratulations, that's Cheryl celebrating with Dr. Marara. Here comes Cheryl Thank you, AIU, for everything, and congratulations to my husband for his success in his academic pursuits. I'm so proud of you. I wish you more success in life. God bless. Best of luck in everything you do, baby sis. I know you do great. God bless. Whenever opportunity didn't knock, you always found another door and we're proud of you. Congratulations! Congratulations, Congratulations to my dad I'm for finishing his degree. I'm in three years instead of four. Well done, pops. Congratulations! Dear yeah, big brother, so we are so happy and so proud of you for your doctoral degree. Congratulations, Dada. Congratulations, Dr. Congo. Thank you for always being such a wonderful example of excellence. We're so very proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, my daughter. Thank you. Congratulations, Michelle. Our family is very proud of you. Thank you. Rebecca. Merci. I'm very happy, my doctor. <laughs> Congratulations, my son, for your achievement. I'm so grateful. I'm here to thank everyone, to thanks you for everything that you did for my father, starting from the first day until now. Now we can call him a master. It has been a long journey, but you've made it through. Well done for the well-deserved PhD. We're proud of you, ma'am. Congratulations on your postdoctorate in uh, economics. Thank you very much. We are proud of you. My brother, congratulations. Thank you so much. I want to congratulate my husband on behalf of the family for obtaining a PhD from the Atlantic International University. Hi, your family is very glad for your PhD degree. You make the family proud. Children and I say thank you and well done this doctoral PhD. Congratulations, mom. Congratulations, mommy. We are proud of you and we love you so much. Congratulations on your amazing achievement. Congratulations, Mitch. You put heart and soul into this, so well done. Congratulations! Congratulations to my grandson, Dr. Shane Anthony Mohammed. I am so proud of you, and the Lord continue to bless you. Congratulations, Isaac. Congratulations, Daddy! We appreciate your achievement, Dad. We have seen your nine long years of hard work and dedication. We wish you many more successes in your future. Hooray! We are so happy for her. We hope she's going to pursue her studies to obtain the doctorate with you as a university. Your hard work for all of this year has been paid off. This is just the beginning. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats Thank for you. obtaining a PhD today, Thank you. Dr. Mrs. Odio. 
very happy for her. We're saying congratulations for reaching this great milestone. Chasing a dream requires effort, passion, and hard work. It was never easy, but you persevered and gave it your best every time. On behalf of my family, I would like to congratulate my dear father. Uh, he has a great impression to get PhD. We are proud of him. Happy Congratulations. Day. Congratulations. We're also proud to see you where you are today. Well done. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> Hope and believe that with this accomplishment, you'll be able to change more lives. So finally, we just want to say Congratulations! Please welcome back President and Academic Dean Dr. Franking Valson for the turning of the tassel and to confer your degrees. Yet, there is one more item to take care of, the tassel. This one is very emblematic, but of a symbolism that is very powerful because your graduation is not complete until you do this gesture. So, let's delve into it. We're simply gonna move the tassel from the right to the left. And now let's get ready. By virtue of the power, the state of Hawaii, that is the government of the United States of America, has vested into Atlantic International University, I officially now pronounce you graduates of the prestigious class of 2021. Congratulations! And may God bless all of you. Thank you. So happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day. And so very proud of you too. With love and pride today and always. Congratulations to your students. You did it. Congratulations, graduates. Remember, you are unique and unrepeatable. Felicidades por ser únicos e irrepetibles, romper paradigmas y este logro. Ahora los espera un futuro lleno de posibilidades. Congratulations, EIU graduates. You are opening a door to higher dimensions. You are moving toward your maximum potential. May your lives be full of sustainable blessings. Congratulations, AIU graduates, on being disruptive and innovative. Go change the world. Congratulations. You did it. We are very proud of you. Felicitaciones a todos por romper los paradigmas y alcanzar sus sueños. Felicitaciones, graduados de AIU. Sigan rompiendo paradigmas. Felicidades, graduados, por cumplir con sus objetivos. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Continue breaking paradigms. Remember that the key to success is what you become of what you think about. And here you are, an AIU graduate. Congratulations. Congratulations to all our students. You have proven to be unique and unrepeatable. Congratulations, graduates. You are one step closer to achieving your goals. Congratulations, AIU graduates. I am sure you're going to make a positive impact in your community and in your country. All the best. On behalf of the entire AIU family, I want to thank you for joining us today for the virtual graduation, and I want to congratulate all our graduates and their families. Take care, and thanks for watching. There's a place in your heart, and I know that it is love. And this place, it was brighter than tomorrow. There's no hurt or sorrow There are ways to get there If you care enough for the living Make a little space Make a better place Heal the world Make it a better place For you and for me And the entire human race There are Better place for you and for
only cares of joyful giving. If we try, we shall see in this bliss we cannot feel. Through dread, we stop existing and start living. Then it feels that always love's enough for us growing. Make a better world. So make a better world. Congratulations, graduates!